Okay, we begin our build here with the uh, carbon fins, I'm just sanding them down, uh, chamfering more. They originally came with a small chamfer on the front and the rear, but uh, I went, ar went around and airfoiled them all. Um, not only are they front to rear, but they're also airfoiled on top. You can see here that most of it uh, was evened out by the layers. So that kind of made it uh, a little nicer so you could make sure they were all even from front to back. And there's one that's just about finished. Okay, for this build I went and picked up a fresh batch of Aeropoxy ES6209, which is pretty much the strongest epoxy available on the market today. This was used throughout our build. This epoxy is a 50-50 mix, so it made it real easy for us. Okay, here's our motor tube. We're just cutting it down for proper length after we measured what our fins are going to be with our tail cone. Okay, and our rings that hold the motor tube in. Um, as you can see on this side, it was just a G12 glass. It had a gloss finish, so we sanded the rings down. And uh, here, we're cleaning everything up, getting ready to install our first ring. Everything that was bonded with this is all cleaned prior with a wax grease remover. Yeah, I'm just getting ready to put the first ring on. And making sure there's good uh, penetration underneath the ring. As you can see here, we got enough uh, resin underneath. This is just the first uh, resin job to uh, just get the ring in place. Make sure it's perfectly squared to the end. Okay, now we're on to the second ring. And once again, everything is cleaned. And putting our mixed resin on. And making sure we're getting good saturation underneath the ring itself. Okay, now the first ring has already been dried. Each one of our uh, resining jobs will do one at a time and give it a good 24 hours before moving on to the next next step but uh, the first ring is already bonded on the second ring we're putting on I made up these spacers which are exactly all the same dimensions as the fins themselves and we made up three of these to put around the ring so then that way it holds the ring nice and uh, parallel so when we put the uh, fins on it'll be nice and snug and you can see here that putting this off to the side letting it dry for uh, a good 24 hour period and this was duplicated on not only this for the main set of fins, but also for the aft fins. And a nice saturation job. Like I said, that's the first resin job. When uh, this dries, then we turn it over and give it a bead on the other side, just like this one. Okay, now before we put the motor tube in, uh, we're going to ground some notches into the uh, main airframe. These are for once the fins are installed, we can't get to the root of the fin, so we made these notches so we can inject resin in around the uh, sides of the fin and let it flow into the join between the motor tube and the fins. So right here you can see we're finishing up all the slots. This took a little while. Okay, now we're on to uh, marking where our rail guides are going to be. general mark here and we're going to stick it on a rail to make sure that uh, and this is a nut plate right here this this is going to be the lower one because we can't get access to the inside so this is going to be a nut plate so we can be able to uh, take it off and on if we need to now here's our uh, 
channel that we uh, straight edge so we can make sure that they're perfectly aligned and yeah, only a couple holes in it and this one's completed all the holes are uh, drilled originally and then they're reamed to size because uh, composites especially carbon and fiberglass have a tendency to uh, shatter on the inside and splinter out with uh, using reamers and also backing up all your holes like this with uh, the wood prevents it from splintering out on the back sides. So and here's just finishing the hole off with a reamer and then we'll break the edges. Okay back to the motor tube now. Now that we got our airframe ready and the motor tubes ready all our all our transition rings have been uh, I'm sorry, centering rings have all been uh, bonded to the motor tube. We're going to clean it all up here, make sure we get all the fingerprints and oils and greases and everything off of it. Kind of makes it handy when you have a little kid around to help. Okay, here we're uh, just about ready to install it. We've cleaned the inside of our airframe, we've cleaned our motor tube. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and mix up some more resin. Now I'm just putting on the outside of the ring here, just get it saturated into the uh, pores of the fiberglass just before we install this while we're wiping it off because otherwise it's going to smear on the inside of the tube. And here you can see we've put a nice bead around the uh, forward edge of all the, the centering rings. So then that way when it goes in we can stand it up and it'll flow out and get a, get a nice bond. This took a little work getting this thing really tight. Okay, tube is all the way in. Now uh, we got it all centered for the slots. Clean off the excess resin. And then now we're going to let this sit for about, oh I'd say we set this aside for almost a week to really let the resin cure inside this tube. We stood the tube, tube up for it to uh, dry. Okay, now after the tube is dry, we're gonna come back and put about six ounces of resin in each of the slots on the other side of the uh, the rings. Now what we're doing here is I'm putting it into the top and letting it flow down to the other slot. And you'll see here in a minute, we're gonna just pack all six inches, let it flow down to the other side. And as soon as it uh, starts dripping out the other side, we're going to uh, rotate the tube and then let it let it pool down to the middle. Now you can see the bottom of the ring here, we've got resin coming out the bottom. So now we're going to take the airframe and rotate it. So it, it pools down inside the ring, so the ring to the uh, main airframe. It's got a good uh, bond. And you can see the top, this is the top of the uh, motor tube. And uh, that was easy to get to because uh, we could just reach inside. Okay, now on to the fins. Now you can see the holes here in the fin. What we did was we drilled uh, approximately five, six holes in each of the fins. Um, they're little 30 holes. And what those are for is, is so when we put the resin on the fin, we can fill those holes with resin and it'll, it'll flow down on each side and they almost act like, uh, oh, you could say resin rivets. Um, so it gives it something more to really grip. And you can see here, of course, everything's cleaned again. And we're going and put uh, some resin on the root edge. And you can see we've kind of filled the holes a little bit here. And we're just going to put a little bit of extra resin here on the side. Now basically this is just to hold the fin in and get it in position and really get a good bond to the motor tube from the root edge. Um, like I said, later on we're going to come in and inject more resin along there and put a nice big fillet along the inside. But uh, this right now is just to make sure we get, get a good bond between the root edge and the uh, motor tube. And I'm gonna snap this in. All these fins fit in really nice. They just pop right in. There's no gaps. And I'm gonna give it a little wiggle here to get the resin to really uh, saturate onto the motor tube. Okay, and we now that we got the first fin in, then we'll put our uh, fin alignment jig on. And, uh, Spaced it so there's no gaps in there. And
Okay, now we're back to, uh, we've prepared our other uh, two fins. And we're gonna go ahead and just show the holes here. You can see they have like a little chamfer on it, almost like a countersink on them to help grip hold. And of course, once again, everything is cleaned. Okay, and we've got the resin on. We've cleaned the airframe. And basically the same thing again. We're gonna snap this down inside and give it a little wiggle here to get the resin to really kind of flow out a little bit onto the motor tube. And then once again, our fin alignment gauge tool. And put it aside for 48 hours, let it dry. Okay, then we repeated the same thing with the other fin, so we got all three of the forward fins on now. Now we're just basically repeating everything again with the aft fins, and you can see how much grime and gook that uh, are still on the fins, even after you wipe them off with the rag. So we're adding our resin into our holes and giving a nice little uh, even coat here on the sides. And once again, wiping down the airframe. Now with this one going in, we don't have the aft centering ring in yet. That way we can do some fillets from the back side. So we're just butting these up against the forward uh, centering ring. And give it a nice little wiggle there. Okay. Now to align the uh, aft fins to the front fins, we're going to put these straight edges on here and clamp it all up and uh, let her dry. So basically that's where we're at today. And uh, we've got all six fins on as of now, and we started putting our fillets on the uh, aft fins before we put our ring in. And we're waiting for our tail cone to get here so we can uh, start worrying, working on putting on the uh, motor retainer. And that's what we've got so far.